In this video, we're going to review all the settings of the always on display and the lock screen on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And first, let's talk about the always on display. So right now, my phone is locked and you see the time, the date, the battery percentage, some notifications and my home button. So that is what the always on display is. And it will actually only use about one, maybe 2% of your battery life throughout the day, but it's really nice. It has the time there. I don't have to unlock my phone to actually see the time. So I'm gonna just show you how you can interact with these notifications first or the home button, you just tap twice and it will jump right in. Now we have our lock screen. So this may vary depending on if you have like a form of security, maybe you have a pin or passcode, that will change, but we're gonna show you how to adjust all of that. To get to the settings of the always on display and lock screen, let's head into the full phone settings. Then we are going to go down and find lock screen and security. And then down here, we're going to cover this lock screen and always on display settings. So first, here you have the always on display where you can turn it on and off. Now there is a really quick way to do that. You can just pull down the notification bar two times, swipe over, and here you have a setting for the always on display. If you tap the icon, it will actually turn it off, tap it again, it turns it back on. But now let's go into the always on display settings. So here we can turn it on and off, and then down here, we have a few different options for always on display. So one, we can have the home button and the clock be shown. So that's what we saw at the beginning. Next, we can change to clocker information. So that's just gonna show the clock. And then if I've specified some information to display, it will show up there. Or you could have just the home button on the very bottom. So that would look like this, where you have the home button and nothing else. So you can still tap that, but it won't show any of that extra information. So we're gonna change it back to home button and clock, that's what I prefer. And then here we have an auto brightness setting. So this is brand new on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus where you can actually change the brightness of the always on display. So when it has auto brightness on, it will automatically dim if you are in a dark room or if it's light outside, it will brighten up the always on display. But you can turn this off and then it will give you a setting to adjust that right there and I'll show you another place where you can adjust that as well. So we're gonna keep that on for this video. And then here we have an option to show always, or if we turn that off, it lets us change to a schedule. So maybe we want our always on display only to turn on at 7 a.m. and turn off at 12 a.m. Or maybe you only want this to display in the evening. So here I would change it to 7 p.m. and I would have it turn off. So I select end and I could have it turn off at nine or 10 AM. So that's one way that you can do that. But right now we are going to keep it on all the time. And here under the about section, sometimes there will be an update app option. So you can check there if you want to see if there are any new updates. Up here at the top of the page, it is giving us a quick link to the settings of the always on display, but I'm going to show you where you can quickly get to that. So I'm going to turn that off, go back, and then right here you have clock and face widget. So if we would have selected the settings right there, it would have taken us to this page, and then here we have clock style, roaming, face widgets, and contact information. So the clock style is where you can actually adjust what your always on display looks like. So this may look familiar, this one right here, but now you have a few different options. You can change the way that it looks. Here we have a new layout. If you wanna change the color on any of these, you can go over here and change how that looks. There's a few different options. Um, now it looks pretty cool with these little rainbow colors, but here you can go back to the default. Then if I go back to type, I can quickly look through the rest of these. And then you'll notice on some of them that there are other options down here at the bottom. So if I keep going through, let's find uh, one that has that option. So right here on the picture option, you have add GIF or color conversion. So if I select the red minus, it will then take away that GIF that I had selected and now I can add my own picture. So I just tap on the middle and I can add a specific picture that I wanna use. So maybe I want a picture of the family. I would tap on their picture and then it is displayed right here and I can actually pinch and zoom and get the picture to be exactly where I want it to be. And there I could select apply and it would add that and always show that picture only always on display. If I wanna choose a different picture, I would select the minus, click plus, and then here I can choose another picture. And then here we have my little logo that we could check out at any time. But now we have this new option down here at the bottom that says add GIF. So I can open this up 
and I can select a specific GIF that has already been pre-registered. And so when I open up that GIF, let's have this little guy, you'll see that he will just play right there on the lock screen. So then if I choose a GIF, you will see that it just continues to play. So I am going to apply that. Then if we lock the screen, here we can see that it plays that little animation and it will stop and then it will pause for a little bit and it will start up again sometimes when the phone locks or unlocks. Now a few other things that you can do right here is there we can actually adjust the brightness of the always on display. Because I've turned off the auto brightness, you have that option. So now let's go back into the settings, clock and style, and then we have a few more here. We can change it to a calendar. We can have a dual clock. So if we select the plus right here, we could add a location of where we want the second clock to be. Down here, we do have the add city, so you can select right there. We do have the side always on display right here available. So that's nice. If this is sitting on a nightstand, you can easily look over and see the time on this side. But when you use this, you will not see the notification icons, face widgets, and other content information will not be displayed when using this. Here you have the option to switch between the right and the left of the screen. And then the last option here takes you to Samsung Themes where you can actually download all sorts of different always on displays. So here I have downloaded a few. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It's got the little original NES controller. And then when I select apply, you can have it add the clock and the image or just the image. So let's do clock and image. And now you can see that my always on display has changed to the NES controller right there. And then if I wanna select the original always on display, I would just tap this one right here and select apply. And now it is back to normal. If you watch closely enough, you will see the always on display move. So there will be no burn in on your screen. So there is the always on display settings. Next, let's go into the lock screen. So the lock screen has similar options where here it's gonna show you the time and the date, and then we can adjust it. So previously, a lot of people asked if they could have it be horizontal like that with the Galaxy S8. Now with the S9, you can do that. And here I have those same options. If I wanted to change the color, it will slightly change some of those depending on the type you want to use. So here we can see how the colors look right there. And then if we go through, we have a few other pretty cool ones right there. This one's nice. When you change the color, you can see that it does that cool effect. And then here you can actually specify the exact color that you would want it to display. And then when you found what you like, you do need to select apply and it will add that to your phone. So now if we go to the always on display, that's what we have. The lock screen now has that new option right there. So next under clock and face widgets, you do have roaming clock. So roaming clock allows you to add a different time zone that it will show when you are roaming. And then here you can have it display on the lock screen and the AOD display, just the lock screen or the always on display. And then here you can specify the home time that you want it to be at and adjust those settings right there. Next you have face widgets. So face widgets are when the always on display is locked and you can actually quickly change your music, look at your schedule and look at your next alarm. And then down here you have the option of where you want it to display. So let's turn it to lock screen and always on display. And then you could click reorder up here and change the order that those are in. So I'm gonna to go to my always on display and show you how to enable that. When you are here, tap the clock twice and that will pull up the settings. So here we have the brightness right there at the bottom when you have auto brightness off. And then if you tap the arrows here on the right, it will show you the music controller. So here if I have music playing, I can quickly pause, play, go to the next song without ever unlocking my phone and making it all bright. Then if I go to the next one here, if I tap on the calendar events, it will take me to a full page of all the events I have today. And then the last one here will show me the alarm that I have set. So it is telling me I have no alarm set for the next seven days. So there we can see those on the always on display. And now if we go to the lock screen, we will be able to see those as well. So here under contact information, you could add your name or personalized message. So here we're gonna add a little name and then you can choose where that will be displayed. So lock screen or always on display, lock screen, always on display. We're gonna keep it on both right now, select done. So that is the clock and face widgets. The next setting here is notifications. So this is notifications on your lock screen. So right here we have notifications on, 
And then here we have hide content. So if you want certain content to be hidden, like here it's gonna show content hidden for a text or a certain message. But if we turn that off, now you will see the message that was sent to you without having to unlock the phone first. So that's what hide content does. Next, we have notification icons only. So instead of actually seeing the lock screen notification, so let me show you real quick. Here I'm on the lock screen and it shows this information. So instead of seeing those, you would just see icons like that. So we're gonna turn some of those off, turn that off. And then here you can show the transparencies. So right here, normally it has a background, but now you can actually completely turn off the transparency of that background. And then depending on the theme of your phone, you may want to reverse the text color so that it actually shows up or whatever your background is. And then down here you have show notifications from. So this is where you can choose what apps are actually going to show notifications. And then here is where you can choose where the notifications will show up. Lock screen and AOD, lock screen and always on display. So you see that option a lot. So it's very customizable. So that is how you can adjust all of the settings there on the lock screen. Now, if we go back, we have one more setting here. We have app shortcuts. So app shortcuts allow you to change these two right here at the bottom of the phone. So you could just open that up and select a specific app that you may want to use more often. Maybe you're using a different messaging app or something, you can quickly go to that. Or let's say I'm using Google search all the time. I can open that up and then here you have the camera on the side. So now is how you use that. It's on the lock screen here, you have those apps. I wanna go into the camera, I can just swipe up, it goes into the camera. Or if I wanna go into the Google Assistant, I swipe up, jumps right into Google Assistant and it's already listening. So that's how you will adjust all the settings on your always on display and lock screen. A few other quick tips for you guys. If you go into the notification panel up here at the top and then you go to always on display, you can actually just tap the wording right there and you can adjust if it shows the home button and clock clock and information or home screen. And then right here, you can quickly change it from always show the always on display to only show during the preset times that you have set up. And then there you can actually select the details to go into the app and change the always on display menu. So there you have those settings that we have just talked about. Let's go to the always on display and show you a few last things. So there is my contact information right there. If I want to see these calendar events, I would just tap on them twice and it jumps right into my notifications about the calendar. We're going to dismiss all those. And then if I go back and I go to the lock screen here, so I'm gonna open up the phone and at the lock screen, you have a few options. You can pull down that message and you have call, mark as read, reply. Here you have some other information that popped up about your lock screen. And then if you swipe over, you actually have some options here where you can adjust notifications of the app. So swipe and let go. And then here we have a snooze option. So I could hide that notification for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. Or I could actually select the settings and then it's gonna take me into the app notification settings. So here I can completely turn notifications off from your messaging app. Maybe you're not getting messages. You can come in here and turn that on. You can turn off badges. So badges are the little number icons that will show you how many notifications you have. Here you can turn off general pop-up notifications. So right now you have some options where you can have it be urgent, high, medium, or low. And then here you can have it show content or hide content depending on the application. And here there are more settings in the app. So there you can have it preview the message. So and those will all depend on each individual application. And there you have it. That's about everything that you can do with your always on display and your lock screen. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, please leave a comment below. And if you know anyone that just got the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, please share this video with them. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well as hit the bell icon so you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.